The stainless steel 3 8 inch wedge anchor is one of the most common bolts used by American climbers. It's strong, secure, and lasts a long time in most environments. Unfortunately, they're very hard to remove when they need to be replaced. They may be removed by force, though if the direction of pull is not straight out, the extraction may not work. Check that out. Oh, what? What manager right. says this is... Other tools, like this hydraulic punch driver, exert a consistent direction of pull. However, damage may occur as the expansion sleeve is pulled past the edge of the hole. Yeah, but you've got it's not too bad. But more than just this crappy surface. We have it at the top of the bolt and we'll pull. A water-cooled core bit connected to a garden sprayer may be used to drill around the outside of the bolt down to the expansion sleeve. Is there a bolt in there? Is this just a core? Oh, cool! Oh, sweet. So no, we want to be able to. Okay. Just wait till the earth turns. Here, all wet. But that How many rock climbers? <laughs> After drilling around the outside of the bolt, it can be easily removed mechanically. This technique consistently resulted in clean holes in our tests. Not that easy. Yeah, there it goes. Oh. Huh. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> That's so cool. That's yes. Crack. That's perfect. That See, no. Crack. no crack. That's the, that's awesome. the ticket. The hole can be re-drilled and the bolt replaced with a more easily removable anchor, such as this three-piece well, fixed we triplex bolt. <laughs> Yeah, no, there it comes. Beautiful. Yeah. Now you can. No, it's too big. Yeah, it's too big. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. 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 we don't have the. the, the there's a special yeah. tool you can make. Yeah, this is a 3 8. Boom. Yeah, I had to make it. But we have. I, I didn't have any way of making right. it. Huh? This hole can be used almost indefinitely, allowing generations of climbers to maintain this anchor without damaging the rock. <laughs> we learned a lot during this session and are currently refining our equipment and technique. These tests were performed on softer sandstone rocks placed flat on the ground. This is a work in progress, but we're encouraged by these early results. We welcome your comments and suggestions. Thanks for watching.